shoot an AK. Squeeze into a Vietnam War tunnel. Hi, chào tất cả các bạn. Hôm nay chúng ta sẽ đi một nơi lịch sử ý nghĩa và một nơi rất quan trọng trong lịch sử Việt Nam. Đó là Điện Đảo Chi. Learn about Vietnam's history. Ah, vâng. Walk through the jungle. Get into some more tunnels. Eat like the soldiers did. Try a zip line. The Kuchi Tunnels, a symbol of Vietnamese resistance. Starting from 1946, the Kuchi Tunnels in Vietnamese, the Adal Kuchi, was a strategic base associated with the resistance war against the French. You can get there by motorcycle, but there are other ways to travel too car, bus, or taxi. From the city center, you need to travel about 70 kilometers to get there. The Kuchi Tunnels is the most famous historical site in Ho Chi Minh City. This project was jointly carried out by the army and people. During the American War, the Kuchi Tunnels were expanded by the National Liberation Front of South Vietnam. In Vietnamese, Mặt trận dân tộc giải phóng miền Nam Việt Nam. In American movies, you will hear they refer to its soldiers as the Viet Cong. Out of my huge respect for Vietnam's heroes and history, I use the abbreviation of the official name above, NLFSV. And in this video, NLF for short. The complex of tunnels at Kuchi has been preserved by the government of Vietnam after reunification and turned into a war memorial park with two different tunnel display sites, Ben Ding and Ben Zuc. The Ben Zuc site contains part of the original tunnel system and a few original bomb craters. Basically, the tunnel system in the relic runs zigzag underground from the backbone road, the main road, radiating countless branches connecting with each other or independently. While you can visit the tunnels and get inside at either location, if you want to experience getting inside a real original tunnel, like I'm doing in this video, there is only one left at Ben Zhe. In this episode, we'll go right there. If you want to explore the other location, Ben Ding, please check my other Kuchi video. The opening hours are 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily, including Sundays and holidays. I do not recommend visiting them around noon though, it's really hot. The Kuchi tunnels are a very large complex. You will have to walk, therefore choose comfortable and loose clothes and wear sneakers. The tunnels are a popular tourist attraction in Vietnam and visitors are invited to crawl around in the safer parts of the tunnel system. If you go and visit these tunnels, I think a tour guide is very useful in order to understand its history. While we chatted in Vietnamese, English is surely an option. Coming to the Kuchi ah, tunnels, perhaps the most interesting experience is going into the only genuine tunnel at Kuchi, preserved since those hard times. Wow! <laughs> However, if you are afraid of narrow spaces, Going into this tunnel can be an uncomfortable experience. Just watch me. <laughs> not everyone can squeeze into this particular tunnel, especially not most Westerners. No, 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 no. Can, you, can you go? I think I will. <laughs> I will go. <laughs> However, if you do venture in, don't worry about getting out. 
as the exit hatch is a little bigger than the entrance hatch. It's a few dozen meters long. Other tunnels have been enlarged to accommodate tourists, so you may want to stick to those. Oh, it's so hot there. Yeah, one more camera. One more camera. One camera. One more 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 One was usually sent in to search the tunnels, <coughs> as it was so hazardous. The tunnels were often rigged with explosive booby traps and punji stick pits. The two most common responses in dealing with a tunnel opening would be to flush the entrance with gas, water or hot tar to force the NFL soldiers into the open. Or to toss a few grenades down the hole and crimp off the opening. Those approaches proved ineffective because of the design of the tunnels and the strategic use of trap doors and air filtration systems. The tunnel system was capable of resisting artillery shells and the weight of tanks and armored vehicles, and the deep tunnel sections could withstand small-sized bombs. Quá hay luôn. Một trải nghiệm mà mang tính chất lịch sử. Rất là thú vị. Cái này cái này thì nó to hơn cái kia. Cái này nhá. Vâng. And then you get into some more tunnels which are luckily wider. There were structural sections with 2 to 3 floors. The up and down space between floors had a secret hatch. The tunnels were divided into three different depths. The highest floor was three meters from the ground, the middle floor was six meters under, and the deepest floor was 12 meters under. Here you will get a feeling of the difficulties of those soldiers. Big <laughs> Besides, you'll feel admiration for the willpower of the Vietnamese people. In addition to the area for living and storing weapons, the Kuchi tunnel system was also divided into many branches with areas of nail pits, spike tunnels, minefields and so on. Ah, that's a bomb. So that's a crater. From 1954 to 1975, the number of bombs dropped on Kuchi was about 500,000 tons. About 1.5 tons of bombs per person in this area. I wonder how they cook down there, as smoke can easily be detected by the enemy. No one a day. From its mistakes and some discoveries made by the Australian Army, the American command realized that it needed a new way to approach the dilemma of the tunnels. A general order was issued by General Williamson, the Allied Forces commander in South Vietnam, to all Allied forces that tunnels had to be properly searched whenever they were discovered. It began training an elite group of volunteers in the art of tunnel warfare, armed only with a handgun, a knife, a flashlight and a piece of string. The specialists, commonly known as tunnel rats, would enter a tunnel by themselves and travel inch by inch cautiously looking ahead for booby traps or Vietnamese soldiers. 
There was no real doctrine for the approach, and despite some very hard work in some sectors of the army and the military assistance command to provide some sort of training and resources, it was primarily a new approach that the units trained, equipped and planned for themselves. The operation, however, did not bring about the desired success. For instance, when enemy troops found the tunnel, they would often underestimate its size. At the end, you can taste some dishes that the Vietnamese soldiers used to eat every day here, such as potatoes and cassava, dipped in sesame salt. And next, we're going to shoot an AK-47. <laughs> and this is the end of the tour, which of course doesn't just take a few minutes, but more like over an hour. It depends, it's kind of flexible. At this Benzuk location, the shooting range is not at the actual tunnel location, but a few kilometers away. You need to go out of the tunnel complex, hmm. turn right on TL15, the main road, ride a little over 1.5 kilometers, turn right again onto TL6 and ride 1.5 kilometers too. Chào anh cho em hỏi cái chỗ bắn súng ở đâu ạ? Cái công này ở đâu? Vậy là cái cổng này. Vâng vâng. Nhảy xuống dưới đây nè cái ngã ba đây đó ngay chỗ tải á. Ngã ba người ta bảo ngã ba. Ngay ngã ba này chạy vô. Ngã ba Chạy vô khoảng mấy trăm mét nữa. Mấy trăm mét. Nó có cái cổng cổng á. Em hiểu. Em cảm ơn. Thấy nó để là du lòng đi lên cổng trên này nè. Cái đi dẫn đi. Người ta bảo là Covid đông cửa nhưng mà bây giờ cứ đến đó người ta bảo thế thì em đi. Cảm ơn, cảm ơn. Chào anh. Xíu nó quẹo phải vô. Vâng, vâng. Cảm ơn anh. Cái việc dữ hả? Dạ. Thư gì? Rumani. Sao dỗ tới việc dữ hả? Tại đây lâu thôi. Ở đây lâu rồi hả? Có vợ Việt Nam hả? Chưa. Chưa vợ Việt Nam hả? Cảm ơn. Em đi nhá. If you choose to shoot some guns, you will be able to use rifles and have staff to guide you in disassembling and practicing shooting. Here you can shoot guns such as M16 or AK-47 rifles as well as pistols. They have a full menu. You see the shooting range on the right and then you will be guided by someone. If you go with a tour guide, they know where and how, of course. So it looks like I have to ride on my own a little bit more. This is interesting. Buy bullets at prices ranging from 40,000 Vietnam Dong or about $1.5 to 60,000 Vietnam Dong or about $2.5. The barrel of the gun will be locked on a low wall prior to charging it for total safety, which is something I respect. Accidents can't really happen here. The M16 used by American forces during the war was infamous for flaws and issues such as jamming. Đây là cái AK. Không, không phải, đây là cái M16 đúng không? <cười> AK thì phải có màu nâu này. However, the Avtomat Kalashnikova or AK47 for short is a greatly reliable weapon used by North Vietnamese forces during the war which still remains one of the most popular combat rifles in the world today. Thế thì nó bắn 10 đạn khoảng bao nhiêu giây? Bắn chừng tầm 3 giây. 3 giây. Wow. 2 giây nó 3 giây thôi. Okay, 3 2 1 Wow, just wow. 10 bullets in 2 seconds. <laughs> wow. Ba, hai, mot. It's pretty impressive to see those cartridges flying out like that. Ba, hai, mot. Yeah, you should definitely wear some earmuffs. This weapon has two modes, automatic and semi-automatic, or one by one. 
Next, I'll try semi-automatic too. Oh my god, okay, James him turn that mode. Sounds like chat heads or Sorry if there's too much slow motion. I used to play Max Payne 2 when I was a kid. And just like in Max Payne, you can hear that cartridge hitting the concrete. And this is me again, believe it or not, in 2018, trying an AK-47 for the first time. In this video, I am trying a zip line for the first time in my life. Although short and just 10 meters above the ground, it was quick, cheap and a lot of fun. You will need to buy tickets to play these games according to the listed prices. Okay. Hi, Dave. Oi, okay. <laughs> this was good enough for my first zipline fun. He was saying that there is a longer and higher one in Dalat. I'll try this again. The tunnel system were of great importance to the NFL in their resistance to the American army. It helped counter the growing American military presence. Relying on the tunnel system, the army and people of Kuchi tenaciously held on, no. fighting the enemy. Currently, the Kuchi Tunnel's historical relic area is a place to educate people about patriotism and pay tribute to the great effort of heroes and martyrs who fought and sacrificed on the land of Saigon, Chalun, Zadik, during two wars of national liberation. And this would be all for this part one of my Kuchi Tunnel exploration. Part two will follow next month. But most importantly, I just hope that you enjoyed my video. Thanks for watching until the end. Goodbye for now.